everybody it's friday and you are at the smart life club and this is coffee break with vicki helm welcome to the show today now i want to let you know today we're using a, a little bit of different uh tools i'm actually filming off my iphone uh, with a microphone and i'm hoping that when you jump on today it'll be that you guys can hear me and that the video is actually a little bit better than what we've been working with nice to see people jumping on thank you for being here hey joan nice to see you hi welcome good morning thank you i don't know if i'm a rock star but we'll be starting with that and i'll take it and run so it's friday 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 hey everybody thanks for jumping on i'm so glad to see everybody i'm gonna just keep talking it is friday and that means this is the this is the third episode we've been on here with this um great i'm glad you can hear me well and hey robert nice to see everybody jumping on so for this friday i'm hoping somebody can give me some really good successes that happened this week make it a short sentence because i am using my iphone and as you can imagine the writing is this little bitty writing over there um thanks for joining us and today is when we celebrate accomplishment I got my cup of coffee and Robert's probably got a cup of hot chocolate, but whatever your beverage is, mm -mm -mm. it's time to have a little coffee break with us. So I am in celebration today and I'm in celebration of something that I had an epiphany about. I, I had a friend of mine who is, his name is Skip. He's a really great guy. And he's a corporate trainer and has a, he's a CEO, just a really cool guy. And he started putting up dad jokes, corny groaner moan dad jokes. And I realized I like them. Like he just sent this one today. It says, did you hear about the guy who dry, who died eating chickpea dip? And then on the bottom, it says the coroner is ruling it as a hummus side. And so there are these corny jokes and I realized I really like corny jokes and I have a hard time embracing that part of myself. I really like dad jokes. I like humor of all kinds, but you know, I really like clean humor. I, I like, you know, uh, there's nothing, a pie in the face and I'm laughing. There are so many reasons to celebrate, but on Fridays in the dad jokes, I realized dad jokes are my guilty pleasure and so i'm wondering what is your guilty pleasure what kind of guilty pleasure do you have that makes you like laugh and so what happens with a guilty pleasure guilty pleasure says corny poor cor robert says corny posts are great for social media they keep you in their mind yes they are but they're fun they're fun to read and so what i did with this guilty pleasure is I started looking at why I called it a guilty pleasure. Sometimes we are embarrassed. Sometimes we get embarrassed to like what we like. Hey, Lisa, nice to see that you're on. Um, what ends up happening when we get to the point where we accept that maybe we're a little corny, maybe we're a little nerdy, that we like to be those things, then we, we want to not tell anyone else. Then, then we're, you know, a guilty pleasure. Um, people really appreciate humor. They like the things in their life that they like, but sometimes they're worried about being judged for the, what they like. So I'm going to come out of the closet today. I, I like coin collecting and it's my guilty pleasure. I like that nerdiness about me. I also like, if you look down over here, I like ham radio as well. I am very, very nerdy. And so I realized I wanted to embrace my nerdiness along with my sense of humor and be out there with everybody on this Friday as we look for stuff to celebrate. So uh, he, uh, Robert says he puts corny stuff up on his profile page every day. People appreciate humor. Thank you. And one of the things for this Friday that we're working on is give me something about your week that was successful. What did you get done? What was fun? Put something in the chat box right now because it's celebration on Friday. Friday is a day to look back and say, what did we get done? Well, um, we start, this is our third episode of this show. 
and uh, let's see I like the old Saturday morning cartoons I use them all the time I do too I love Saturday morning cartoons embrace your nerdiness I would love to learn more about the ham radio me too I love ham radio I wish I could spend more time on it it's actually quite fun and so what is your guilty pleasure what is something you want to celebrate today hey I see everybody coming on board Wow thank you so much for being here and um, you know the brave ones that are quiet in the back you can type in the chat box as well and um, you can be with us and say which Saturday cartoons are your favorite okay I'm old school I loved Bugs Bunny Bugs Bunny Roadrunner hour that was hands down my favorite I'm old school again I love Scooby-Doo I don't know about you but I love Scooby-Doo and you know what I'm a big fan of the Flintstones those are my guilty pleasure cartoons for Saturday I don't know what yours are but you could share them right now as well somebody give me something successful that happened this week what can we celebrate uh, what do you want to celebrate today thank you Jocelyn somebody give me something to celebrate well I'm celebrating that I'm stretching my 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 what I do so I'm celebrating being excused from jury duty today you're right that is something to celebrate because if you're at jury duty all the time somebody else wants to celebrate uh, celebrate chocolate I always celebrate chocolate because that is its own food group isn't it so yay that's a great thing to celebrate yes you're right so I'm watching the scroll go on as well but I wanted to let you know Friday I'm stretching I'm now doing this show right over here you guys know me mostly as a writer a, my books that I've written are over here and some are down here etc and I got some up here as well and I've written so many books I, I, I classified myself as a writer and so hey Debbie nice to see you welcome aboard um, right now what I'm stretching myself to do is learn video I, I've never done it before I don't know what I'm doing with it I'm learning how to do these lives what I like about doing the lives is that you you have to show up you have to let your mistakes be there you have to um, Robert's guilty pleasure 80s corny movies my celebration for today set up a new Facebook live series very good chocolate is celebrated every day you're right chocolate is celebrated every day so one of the things we do when we have a coffee break is we just chill out and we talk we don't necessarily have to have everything be educational but what I want to do is be able to learn more about video and grow and change and and have some fun while I'm doing it so uh, I'm moving from just simply being a writer to showing up and being fully present with you know people for 15 20 minutes talking about stuff that's fun talking about stuff that's uh, serious but having a coffee break in the middle of the day is so important for me because this helps us relate we have a talk you're gonna go back to being your your day and there may be nobody around you and you're working and all alone it's fun to meet friends online and say hello let's see I am learning video production and software my fir first video looks pretty good it does awesome I love 80s movies and congrats on setting up your series this is a great place to say what exactly is new in your life that you are doing that's fun these are great things that people can share so show up and be fully present that's that's another key thing it's interesting to have a conversation this way doing it digitally or virtually like having a coffee break with your friends sitting down and saying okay my friend in New York can't have coffee with me right now but the cool thing about technology you can be anywhere in the world you can grab a cup of coffee you can say hello to a friend and even though you can't hug them you can give them a virtual hug a virtual nod or the ability to be present with them during a time now it's Friday every Friday I always take a moment and I celebrate I celebrate the things that I've accomplished I celebrate hey Deborah nice to see you I celebrate things that were accomplished I celebrate my goals that I got done my checklist and then I celebrate what I still have to do as well all right so somebody replied young Frankenstein is there great I love that movie young Frankenstein come on it's really fr it's really funny I mean I think that was Terry Garr's best picture uh, Robert 
says virtual conference drink coffee break. That's right. This is it. Um, Karen says put the candy back. <laughs> that is hump. What hump? Um, I love virtual hugs. Thank you. So I want to express that back. And uh, some of the best movies, I, I thought Young Frankenstein was so clever. It was an innuendo movie all the way through it. And there was parts of it that were really funny. Somebody, nobody has told me what their favorite cartoon was. You asked me and then you didn't reply. Coffee break videos based on the talking points of your next upcoming book is like a movie trailer. That's true. I do have another book coming out, but it's Friday and I don't want to talk about that right now. They are, it was Abby Normal. That's right. <laughs> That's right. It's an Abby Normal brain. And so when we, <laughs> you guys are cracking me up. Uh, that is actually a valid point. Thank you. The name is Abby, Abby Normal. So um, in the movie that was uh, young Frankenstein, what I really liked was it was done in black and white and it was super clever. And the lines in it were just, they were so fun. Uh, Jocelyn said, I loved Scooby-Doo. You're right. I love Scooby-Doo too. That was a great, great, great uh, cartoon. ruh -ro raggy Mmm. Okay. Let's see. On the, on the, uh, on the Friday coffee break show smurfs and gummy bears okay saturday morning conk oh my gosh now robert has put something in the chat that if you aren't from the 70s you don't know and it was hong kong fooey and i <laughs> i forgot about that cartoon i totally like that one as well my kids still watch reruns of cartoons I haven't watched cartoons in years. You know, I, I have, when my children were little, we went through the Disney years and the Disney years where you have to see when they like, like how many times have you had to sit through Frozen right now? Frozen was really big. Well, back in the era, I had to sit through Beauty and the Beast every day after school for months and months and months. And the kids would sit there and watch that cartoon months and months and months. You knew every line. In fact, I, I literally started looking for the mistakes in the movie. Monty Python and the Holy Grail is one of my guilty pleasures. The first Black Knight prevails. I love Monty Python and the Holy Grail, the, car, the, the coconuts. Clunk, 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 clunk. That was a good one. Robert says, I want to work for the Acne Corporation. Of course you do. Uh, uh, too many to count for Frozen. Yes, that's right. So what happens is your kids get really excited and they start watching these cartoons and you just watch them at nauseum, but they just love them, love them, love them. And then the singing with Frozen. What was interesting is on the internet now, how many dads and moms sang that Frozen song with their toddler in the back seat and them up front and them singing together and they're all over the internet right now. And it's so funny to watch them. It's so, it's so great to be there. Let's see, Nini, we are the knights who say knee. <laughs> Beep, beep. And somebody has got the road runner on here. These are all great things. Now, Fridays are about celebrating. And I, I think celebration should be a part of every day. Can't forget the old Mickey Mouse Club for us. Wow, you are dating yourself, Robert. So uh, bring us the shrubbery. Bring out your dead. Okay, so anyway, what I want to say before we wrap this show up is... Fridays should be fun days, fun days where you actually acknowledge what you did for the week, having some fun, having a break with friends, being able to reach out and just have a great moment in your day. The reason we do the coffee break show is so that we can get together, just have a fun conversation. I'm hoping that you enjoyed today's humor. It was really great to have you all here. And uh, Monday show is going to be rocking great. And this weekend, do me a favor. I'm going to give everybody a challenge for this weekend. Sometime during the weekend, stop and be grateful. Be grateful for everything you have. I'll see you Monday. I've enjoyed being here. 
You guys are so awesome. Thank you for this, Vicki. I needed this yesterday. Well, I'm glad you got it today. Thank you for being here, everybody. I'll see you Monday on the Smart Cl uh, Smart Life Club Coffee Break Show with Vicki Helm. Now, listen, if you're on YouTube, do me a favor. Just hit the subscribe button down below. Trust me, we'll have fun. Hit the subscribe button now. Remember, what you can see is for free all this other data, all this other cool stuff at the smartlifeclub.com. Become a member today. It's free. I will talk to you guys later. Have a great weekend. See you Monday. Mwah! Peace out.